So guys, welcome to another FPL video on my channel. My name is Bunky Dunko. Guys, so last week I posted a video, but a lot of people didn't see it because FPL, I mean um, YouTube algorithms. So a lot of people didn't see that video, but I revealed my face <laughs> um, in that video. Um, so I'm gonna do it again to see if you guys actually wanna like, uh, if you guys wanna see more of the face in the videos, and yeah, li like like the video so I know, and then also subscribe, yeah, guys. Um, we reached 1,000 subscribers last week, so I have to shout out to you guys, the people that haven't subscribed. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. But the people that did, shout outs to you guys. Shout out so much to you guys. Uh, thank you so much. It's been a long road. <laughs> so let's keep let's keep the train going. And yeah, man, let's get to 2,000, 1,500. You know, let's get there. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, so FPL things, you know, FPL. So uh, these are not actually my points. Um, these are not actually uh, what I have at the moment. I actually have 48 points uh, because I have people on the bench, I have people that didn't play, so I actually have 48 points, which beats the average of 43. But I still don't think it's actually a good uh, game week. I was expecting a lot more, but yeah, we're gonna go through my team my ranking my transfers that i'm thinking and i'm actually thinking that i might wild wild card this game week the next game week so we'll see hey yeah, guys don't forget to subscribe <laughs> so okay so first of all we have martinez he conceded four goals so he got absolutely nothing he got nothing for me which was actually shocking one of the, probably the first performances bad performances from martinez so we'll keep faith with him. Mitchell, he didn't play, so it's it's okay. Uh, Justin, he still has to play. Uh, Robertson, he's another one that Liverpool defenders are really conceding a lot. So for me, I think I might want to take them out. Then we have Roman Sainz, he didn't play. I, th I hope he actually didn't lose his place, but it looks like he might have lost his place to Ait Nora, Nori. So hopefully, you know, we'll keep an eye on what's happening there because he's been a really good asset for me. But we'll see what happens uh, with the coming up game weeks. Then a Yang, I kept faith with a Easy, and he actually rewarded me with eight points. And I think I'm gonna keep him still because he, the next game he has is against uh, Aston Villa. So Aston Villa have been conceding a lot lately for some reason. So I'm gonna keep uh, faith with him and also he loves playing against Aston Villa. Arsenal strikers love playing against Aston Villa. So I'm gonna keep him. He's also even a captain C choice as well. Then we have McGinn. Ever since I've brought in McGinn, I've done bad. So maybe he's the he's the link. Maybe he's the guy that's that's doing the things, but yeah, ever since I've brought him in, my team has been doing horrible. Rodriguez didn't play. Uh, Salah got me 8 points, great for him as well. Werner got me 7 points, but I'm, even though he actually got me these points, I'm still thinking that I need to take him out. Uh, I don't, like, if he wasn't even intended to start at the, at, in, the, in the game week. So, he's a bit of an iffy one for me there, and he costs a lot. So, at least he got me 7 points this game week. Then Kane, my captain, got me 6 points. I'm happy with that. Then, why I say I have more than I actually do, Kilman, my defender, actually has uh, 6 points. So he actually, you know, he's a good pick. A really good pick. Very cheap. And it looks like he has his place in the Wolves team. So him, 6 points. Rooster got me two points and then Stevens got me one. So not too bad, but I think I could definitely do better. Um, so yeah, I'm, so far I'm sitting at 300,000, but I think that's actually a bit of a false one. So I'll probably be maybe like 300,000, 
around there it's so weird how you can actually because like maybe two weeks ago i was eighty four thousand. so for me to drop this dramatic is a bit weird but i think it's because it's still early and everybody's still clumped together the points are still too close but i think it's still pretty good um yeah but i need to keep climbing man and then the transfers so as I said, I'm thinking of doing my wild card because I think I have a lot of transfers that I want to do. First, Robertson, uh, McGinn I want to take out, uh, let's say who, Werner as well. And then also Saiz because Saiz might also, he might be a, a, a person that I want to take out because of how he might have lost his place. But I don't know, maybe they were just resting him, I don't know. So. We don't know and the thing is i wouldn't want to take him out because he's been such a good asset for me but if i do take him out it will be replaced with zuma and then in this position will be replaced with someone from uh, man city you know i'm trying to keep the premium i'm trying to keep the man city liverpool because those two are probably the top teams so those two uh, and uh, the obvious one would be Walker or Cancelo, you know, but Cancelo is a bit cheaper and he still also does well. The only problem with Cancelo is that he might not play in some games. But yeah, Cancelo or Walker. And then here, but here I actually want to take in and put in Ings. So Ings, the problem right now is that he could be injured. That's the issue. And... If he is, then it will probably I'll probably stay with Werner or I'll go with Calvert Lewin. But Calvert Lewin for me, the problem with going with Calvert Lewin is because I already have Rodriguez from Everton, and I don't like doubling up. I've seen that with John McGinn, with McGinn, and having McGinn and Martinez because now once if they do bad, then I have two players that are actually doing bad in my team, and I don't like that. So. For me, I would rather have that diversity and if I'm going to do two players, it would be from a team like Liverpool or Man City. So a team that is kind of guaranteed a win at least, you know. So yeah, Ings would be my first choice and then maybe even Wilson since he had a, a great game week, you know, maybe even Wilson there. So yeah, I think that could be a possibility. In, in there um, and then I'll have also 8.3 in the bag here now I would probably go for either Zaha or Grealish in this one but again the problem with that is I have already uh, Mitchell and I have Martinez so I would have to either bench Mitchell and then have him just be a bench player and then have Zaha and then you know I could work around like that so it could be like that where it's Justin Zuma, Cancelo, Kilman, and then we have Abameyang, Zaha, Salah and Rodriguez and then we have Ings and Kane so you know I'm at the moment I'm just kind of playing with the team I'm trying to see what I could actually do you know so if you have any suggestions put it in the put it in the comments so yeah at the moment i'm just really just playing with the team seeing what i could actually be doing um i also think i need more man city players because man city i mean it's one of the top teams and i have no man city players at all so that's one of my issues about my team but overall i'm not too fast about my team but i think if i were to get in someone it would probably be Zaha so it would be like that and then Mitchell would be on the on the bench you know so it would be like that you know so yeah in the league uh, in the league I decreased a lot but I think I'm around here I think I'm around 13 but it's still a decrease yeah so so uh, Martinez would be my my uh, goalkeeper then Mitchell uh, Mitchell maybe I might take him out and put in Kilman uh, instead of Mitchell but then size is the problem you see size is the actual problem because 
I don't know if he's gonna play or not. And if he's not gonna play, I need to take him out. So it would probably be Kilman. Let's say it would be Kilman. Right? And then Zuma here. Zuma, you know? Yeah. Then Zuma here. <laughs> then uh, Mitchell would be on the bench. Then it would be Justin Robertson. No, Justin uh, Cancelo. Uh, and then Kilman and then Abameyang who actually I think I could make my captain but we'll, we'll see there uh, Abameyang, McGinn no and then McGinn he needs to come out for Zaha so you see that's why I'm saying I, I have a lot of transfers that I want to do and I think definitely I definitely I think once I have that mindset where I need to make transfers I, I mean, where I have to make a lot of transfers, I think the wild card is the most uh, uh, smart thing to do because I can't keep just waiting for the next game. We can make one transfer, make one transfer, and lose all these points. So, McGinn, I mean, Zaha would be here, Rodriguez still there, Salah, Kane, and then Ings if he's fit, or Calvert Lewin. So, it would be like that, you know? But yeah. So I don't know how these algorithms are working with YouTube, but it seems when I post on Monday, it's better. So if I don't post, you know why, you know, uh, on like if I don't have a, a, a good reveal. So yeah, man, you'll see my team on next week, Monday then. Yeah, but yeah, guys, I hope, you know, I hope you guys have a good, I hope you guys let me know how your team went. If you're in my league, let me know if you're in my league. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Green arrows, please, man. Uh, love, peace. Green arrows, guys. Yeah.